Okay, so before you go on with the binary bomb, if you think of yourself as an expert or if you maybe took this course a long time ago in Open Security Training 1 and you happen to already know stuff about x86, you have the opportunity to do the bomb lab in expert mode. In expert mode, you remove the helpful symbols, the debugging information, which you would not actually have if you were targeting some particular piece of real software or some particular piece of real malware. They're typically, unless they really, really screw up, they're not going to generally provide that information. Now, for things like Windows Operating System, Microsoft does provide some of the simple information, uh, but that's neither here nor there. So if you want to run this as an expert, then go ahead and strip these symbols from the bomb, running the strip command on Linux and Unix type systems, or just straight up delete the .pdb file, the portable debug file off of Windows and try it without the debugging information. I think you'll find that it's exceedingly much more difficult. All right, now just a couple of words of hints before you continue on. Of course, documentation is your friend, so if you forgot or just never knew some of the standard C library things you encounter, like sscanf, then you should, of course, you know, Google it, read the man page, read the Microsoft documentation, whatever. But uh, you, should, you should look up for opportunities to grab public and available information wherever possible. And also, this is a very big one, especially for those of you who are taking this to eventually go towards the reverse engineering type learning tracks. It's important to always you know, keep in mind what exactly is your goal here. Uh, it's extremely easy to get lost in the weeds when you're looking at assembly language, and especially as someone who might be new to assembly language, you're gonna be like wanting to look at what's this instruction do, what's that instruction do, what's that instruction do? And that's exactly how you get stuck, lost in the weeds, and you lose sight of the goal. Frequently, it's the case when you're reverse engineering, you want to do like a very broad like scan of everything to just see like just generally what's there and then narrowly focus on something. But then you get too deep into it. And so you've got to come back up and you've got to look at the big picture and then you go down deep and then you come back up. So that's a, a common thing. And the hint here is, you know, focus on what your goal is for this particular exercise. The goal is not read every single assembly line and understand every single assembly instruction. The goal is get the program to run without exploding. So you need to focus on what are the exit conditions, what are the ways that you avoid those calls to explode bomb, and then work backwards from that. That's why it's reverse engineering. So walk backwards from the exit conditions and figure out how do you avoid those paths? How do you provide inputs that force the control flow down the particular path that you want? All right, and with that said, I wish you good luck on your adventures into the heart of the binary bomb.